Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful morning here in southwest Virginia. It's 51.6. It got down to 39 last night, and tonight's supposed to get down to 39 or 40. But those are the last nights in the 30s for at least a couple of weeks. So it's beautiful this morning. Just beautiful. And I hope to do another garden video soon. Before I get started, I'm going to show you some of the things that John got for his birthday. His 80th birthday was Saturday, and the kids came in, and we had a wonderful time. And we actually, it was the first time we've seen our daughter and her boyfriend since last fall. Because of one after another, it seemed like somebody was sick, and then we all had covid and then after we got well from the COVID, our daughter and her boyfriend, they had it. So this was the first chance that they've had to come in. So we actually celebrated Christmas with them. So it was just a wonderful weekend. And John just had a wonderful time at his birthday. It was a great celebration for him. So I will do that. But first, I want to mention uh, three channels. They're all new or fairly new. The first one is Paula at Paula's Wonderful Life. She does a lot of hauls and decorating, and now that the weather's starting to get better, she's going to be doing some garden too, because she moved into a new place. And her home is wonderful. It's a cottage, and it has so much character. So I think you'll enjoy her channel. And that's Paula at Paula's Wonderful Life. Then another one is Bonnie, and that's Everything Country CA. She's in Canada. And she does some of the most beautiful vignettes using a lot of vintage items. So I think you'll enjoy her. And then the other one is a garden channel. And it's Justin the Gardener. And he's in England. And he has a beautiful garden. And you'll get to see a lot of the old English landscape and the old manor house. I think you'll really enjoy him too. And if you visit them, make sure you tell them that I sent you over because I hope you will enjoy them as much as I am. So let's get started with some of John's birthday presents first. His main birthday present from the kids, they got him a new laptop, which uh, they, the company actually sent them the wrong one. So they have to uh, send that one back and get the correct one, but he will have a brand new laptop coming and he's really excited for that. And then I got him a bunch of old vintage tins because y'all know we have always loved tins. And we used to have an old country store set up in our family room. That was way before YouTube time. I wish I still had it when I was filming so I'd have a record of all that because it was really neat. Uh, and I think you would have enjoyed seeing it. But we have always loved tins. And I thought, what better thing to get John than to get him some old tins because we haven't bought any in a long time other than all those powder tins and drug tins that we got at that yard sale this summer. So I got him some very special ones, and I'm going to sit down here so you can see good. This is one we always wanted because we thought it was really pretty. Pride of Killarney, and it's old country style tea. Packed by the American Stores Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful green and gold tin. Of course, I'll use it this summer, too, but it would be great to use when I do all my St. Patty displays. Then another beautiful green and gold tin is the Durkee's Chili Powder. We have a red Durkee's, and I can't remember what, it, what spice it is, but we do have a red one shaped just like this, and I think it's just a gorgeous tin. Then John always wanted a big tea tin. This was a three-pound tea tin, golden rule, and it's red and gold, and it is just gorgeous in wonderful condition. All of these tins I did order on Etsy because the ones on eBay weren't as nice and they were a lot more expensive, plus I didn't want to get in a bidding war. And then because Folgers is our favorite coffee, John's always wanted a Folgers coffee tin. So I was able to get him this one. 
And this was the kind that had the key that you rolled the piece of metal around the edge to open it. Then on top of that, I did get this from Mandy, the Jay Sansbury freshly made bloater paste. It came directly from England. That's another one that she had got from the guy that digs up old pieces in England. And John used to always be fascinated with the bloater paste back when we used to buy all the pot lids from England. Then this beautiful Nestle's Lactogen dried cow's milk. <laughs> I wonder if it tastes as bad as the old powdered milk that we used to get years and years ago. But it's a beautiful tin, and it actually still has the key on top. It's never been opened. And it's two and a half pounds, but it's really a pretty tin. And then because we always, in our early years, drank Spotlight Coffee. This was an old Spotlight Coffee that came from Kroger's. And then here was a Kroger's coffee tin. So now he has all three of the coffee tins that we drank out of. Now, in our first years of marriage, we actually used A&P coffee. So we're still on a lookout for one of those. But he was really happy with getting these beautiful tins to add to our collection. And you'll see them all in place this summer after I take Easter down. So now, his Christmas present from our daughter and her boyfriend, Jake, is this awesome Grinch. He's put pulling the balls out of the bag. And as usual, Jim Shore has so much detail on it. So he was tickled to get that for his Grinch collection. Then my gift was this absolutely precious Lori Mitchell. It's Woodland Santa. See, it's got the bunny on the deer's back and the little deer has a wreath around his neck and the little bunny has a little bow. And then Santa's holding a birdhouse. And he has a pine cone and a sprig of pine on his hat. Isn't that adorable? And Cindy also got me a couple of those cozy mysteries. I forgot to bring those in here because y'all know how much I love to read those. So she got us that too. And then um, John also for his birthday, he got a lot of gift cards. Everybody knows how much he loves Lowe's and how much he loves plants. So He's already went to Lowe's and spent some of his gift cards and got some plants. And I may do a plant haul tomorrow. <laughs> and then a sweet friend. She's a free, free, She's a sweet subscriber on YouTube and a friend on Instagram, Karen. She sent me this adorable little reproduction ornament. Isn't that precious? And then these sweet little... Easter plates, Cottontail Farms, Carrot Company, the beautiful cross with all the roses and flowers on it, the cute little gnome, and of course, a truck with flowers in it for John. Thank you so much, Karen. We just love them. And they're already in my displays, but I moved them in here so I could show them in the hall, but everybody will get to see them again when I do my tours. Then we went to a church sale on Friday and stood in line forever, and it must have been over a hundred people in line. We didn't get but a couple of things, and I mean, y'all know I talk about rude people at sales sometimes. Well, there was a rude man that I just kind of would like to have pushed him over the way he was pushing me around, <laughs> but I just smiled and went on. So the only things we got at the church sale was this honey pot. I think that was $2. I got this little vintage creamer. It has an eagle on it. So I could use it the eagle side out for the summer and turn it around and just use the plain side whenever I wanted to after that. And then got this old bowling pin. And John did clean it up and give it a little bit of a shine. Then the estate sale, we waited in line for that too, but that was worth waiting in line for. 
I got this Vintage Japan Wonderful Blue and White Blue Willow Plate. Got this. This is an English plate. Just love it. And then these next four plates are actually places in Virginia. So And they're made in England, so I was happy to get those. This is the old church tower in Jamestown, Virginia, which we went many, many times when our children were young. And then this is the Bush Hong House, New Market, Battlefield, Virginia, which we've been to. This is Natural Bridge, which we've been to many times. Natural Bridge is actually not, I don't know, 45 minutes Maybe an hour, I'm not sure. It's been so long since we've been there. And then this is another battlefield. But they are all made in England. And they were, the big ones were $2 a piece and the little ones were $1 a piece. Then I got this little, it's got a mirror inside and I presume it's a place for peels. And this is the Natural Bridge Hotel. And then on that side, it's the Natural Bridge. And that is a super old piece. Then I lucked in, let me see if I can move, slide the plates up a little bit. I got three thermoses. This one is kind of orange color. I haven't cleaned these up, the plates or them yet, because I didn't have time with the kids being in. And it has spoons on it. So I'm presuming this might have been a soup thermos. But that's okay, it's a thermos. Then I got this red plaid thermos. It is plastic. I want a red plaid metal one, but until I can get one, I'm happy to have this one. That's an Aladdin thermos. Then I got this beautiful blue plaid, and it's plastic also. It's a quart thermos, it says. And then I got this basket and all the eggs for three dollars. There's a variety of eggs. There's some you can tell are handmade. There's one right there. It looks like it's got spices glued onto it. There's wooden ones, a cow one, a beaded one, and then this one here said handmade and carved in Kenya. It's really a pretty egg, but it is handmade. Then John in all the Christmas stuff she had, there was this whisk broom, and it had, you could tell it was old, had old velvet ribbon and some Christmas decorations on it that were just falling apart. The decorations were falling apart, but we like to have never got the glue off of it, but we did, so he found me another whisk broom. So this is all of our haul and John's wonderful birthday goodies. I'll be back constantly this week doing Easter tours and probably uh, maybe a plant haul and a little garden tour. So love and blessings from me and John and baby boy. I hope you all are having a wonderful blessed week. Till the next time. Bye bye.